<clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game! Where did we win? The Woolly Wino? Oh yeah! Of course we won the Woolly Wino! And yes, it was a deliberate mistake. God! Ooh. <laughs> of course we won the Woolly Wino! Right, and there it is! Oh, this has been the first time in a while that I've won a tournament creature. <laughs> or at least the last one that I didn't win was... Oh, what was it? I think it was, um... Was it Dilopho? I think it was Dilophosaurus. So 2,600 VIP points, yes! And of course, a woolly rhino. I, t I tell you something, this model is way better than the original model. Um, the Elasmotherium one. Have we got anything cool coming up? Oh, we got another boss battle. Um, no, I think we're all good. Oh, we got the two stithithithiths. That one. Uh, oh yes, let's claim this. Did we win anything good? No. Never, it's, you know what? This is worth winning, like entering. If the VIP um, Lotto gives you a chance of winning a pack, you may as well do it, because it, it's, it's really, really good. <laughs> also, if I sound a little bit different, it's because I'm wearing Invisaligners, so it might be a little bit more lispy. <laughs> right, see results. Um, are we gonna do it? Of course not, of course not, of course not. I, you know, I just thought, oh, Hadrosaur looks. I got a trade. They wanted me to ha, um, or was Hadrosaur, oh, sorry, Parasaur Gen 2, my bad. Um, there was a trade that was 500 bucks for a Parasaur. I was like, wait a minute, I have that, right? When I realized it was a spare, I was like, heck yeah, I'll trade that. <laughs> so of course we're still grinding towards, um, what do you call it? Um, oh, we, we, what are we grinding? Yes, Omega 09, that's right. So before we get into anything, how about we hatch our one and only at the moment, um, Cenozoic, um, Woolly, Woolly Wino. Now, is it any good? Let's compare it. So it's another, uh, planes, is it? I think that's planes. It's better than the Titanoboa or the Giganothopithis, that one. <laughs> so we'll hatch it. We'll do the, should we do the instant hatchery? I mean, it doesn't make a difference. We've only got one, right? We may as well do it. So it costs us 200 nod to get there. Let's have a look at it. Oh yes, it's the model from Jurassic World Alive. And good, because that's a good model. So uh, let's feed it, let's see what it eats. It's probably the same animation, yeah. Yum yum, look at it. We go to yum yum. It's eating the West Indian lilac. No! <laughs> All right, let's get it to level 10. Now, I have 16,000 books, however, um, I'm expecting that to drop to about five or something ridiculous because I think it costs about 10,000 to max something out depending on how lucky we get. So, 7,000 each. So we need to get seven of those. So seven times seven is what, children? Yes, it's that. Very good. <laughs> See, I can hear. So otherwise, it cost me 250 last time. However, this time it's costing me 1,000. So that's one. <laughs> Two, oh god. Uh, uh, three, remember we need so many of these. Three, oh god, I think it's gonna be a little bit more. There we go, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. Oh no! <laughs> Five. Oh god, oh god, oh the books are dropping. The books are dropping quick, guys. They're going stocks are low, stonks are low. Eh. There we go, one more and we should be there. That's eight. So seven. Do we really need to waste this many books on it? No, but it's the only reason I have books is to do this. So now we get to feed all of them. I've already seen it's, uh, it's level 40 um, evolution because of course, whenever this game instantly updates uh, or has the tournament, um, you get people who obviously cheat or hack and then you show it on groups and stuff. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Really, these days I'm not really too fussed about that, but we're gonna have to speed it up. So, of course it cost us how many? What, like 12,000 bucks to speed up just to hatch it. Now it's gonna cost us probably another 2,000 to do this to it. However, we do have, because we have VIP, two instant fuses. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm wondering, I th can you have two freeze? I think you can have two freeze. I'll have to check. 
So that is a level 11. Ooh. Well, let's get another level. So activate. Activate a regular incubator for 100 or instant fuse incubator. Oh, so it does cost. Ah, got you. Okay, so the reason why that's happening is because I've still got this thing in here. Oops. Uh, well, we made... Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, every time we fused, it would cost us 100. So I'm hoping that it's cheaper just to speed this up and save the 100 every time. I didn't realize that. And Oh, come on. Oh, you are kidding me. It's deliberately doing miss and you can't fail. Yeah, there we go. Yay, a level 11 hat for Gen 2 that I really didn't need. Brilliant. <laughs> right, well, anyway, uh, let's go over to the Cenozoic. Evolve, activate for free this time and 47. Oh, no. This game, man, this game. Just give me, give me, stop. Stop, 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 stop it. Stop! Why are you doing this to me? All I've ever done is it. Oh, there we go. Good. Look at the little floating rhino. Like, aha! Yeah! I fly! Don't sell it! Good lord, James! <laughs> you see, it's like on the left. They switch it. They put things on the left. They put things on the right. They deliberately confuse me. So, that's better. Right, we need to think about We've got three instant fuses to use. So, of course, we're going to use that for the, the one, the level 40. And then we've got two level 30 fuses. So, they're the ones that cost the most. So, at the moment, we're approaching the end. So, I can, <laughs> it's so I'm like focusing on how to speak properly. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think what's the best way to use these. Um... All right, okay. So one of the level 30s, we... Oh, so, so this is it. This is the last time we're going to spend books because we get three free fuses. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Thank the Lord. Jeebus. All right, so here we go. Level 20. Level 20. Uh, level 20. Uh, level 20. And let's watch his eating animation for this one as well. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Doesn't really move much, does he? But I'm glad that the uh, the model from Addressable with Alive, I think, has a bigger horn, I think. I'm not too sure. But it doesn't look too bad. Transferring th that model to this game works out pretty well. Because you, like with Sinoceratops, they made his head super small, which is ridiculous. <laughs> but they had to because they're using the same rig. So, now we can just instant fuse. Yeah, the gold. Look at it. Gold. And there we go. Doesn't go oh, wait, did I collect coin there by accident? Okay. So there no more books. Instant views! Another gold! Yes! Oh, that looks so good. I love the gold capsules. Uh, so now we feed to level 30. There we go. 1,895 health and 592 attack. Look at him, he's going albino. Are you ready for the final instant fuse? The level 40! An armored tank of a rhino! 180! And here we go. Bam! Look at it there! Don't ask me how it can uh, stand on its back feet. Uh, nobody knows. <laughs> it's a mystery to science! And there it is, look at that! He's like an armadillo, and he's got extra horns! It kind of reminds me of um, Power World. I think the Norse could get um, rhinos, like armored rhinos, and they had like plate armor like that. Um, but 2,681 health and 838 attack! Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Hope you're happy. See you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, but we got more things to do. Uh, Proto Stega. Yes, I'll trade that for the DNA. I need that. Anything else? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll trade that. Why not? Now, let's see if we can get lucky. Every time I record, I get lucky on these trades. Hopefully, we can get something for books. Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. 349. I love how they've increased that. It used to only be 200 and odd. Not anymore. Not anymore. And I'll take that. Yes, I need the books. Please. Uh, anything else? Entladon? I might as well speed that up. And I didn't realize I had a volcano to trade, so I might as well get some food for that. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, next one. Uh, any books? No. But a scapa boobly bap bap. 1,600. I'll take that. Uh, that's not very good. That's not very good. 
Kind of tempted just to get rid of the pagoda. I only do that to get only um, get the VIP packs just to make sure I get the mission, which is open three packs a day. And the final one. Oh, oh, it's all. Oh, these are all going to be good. I think these are all going to be good. Okay, so I'll trade that. Yes, sir. Um, 15 endurances. Uh, increase HP by 15%. Oh, I'll get rid of those for 33 bucks. Heck yeah. And, uh, oh, look at all these books we're getting, man. Oh, this is amazing. 57 and, yeah, go on. I'll do that. I'll do that. Books are vital. We need the books. And what's this? Oh, yes, I'll trade it. Oh, it speeds it up. It speeds it up. And there you have, wow, so many trades. And of course, don't forget to get our loyalty points by doing this. I love that at this point, Ludian knows about the John, the John Hammond statue and they've just embraced it. They've even made it give you more, which is amazing. So we've done three trades. So we need to collect three mods and do those. Oh, look at that use. We do 30 battles and 50 amphibians. So another two hundo boss DNA. So we should be able to get it. We need to pet 10 dinosaurs, guys. Who should we pet? Diplo, pet one, pet two, pet three, pet four. See, you don't need to pet different ones. Oh, baby Kool-Aid. Uh, pet you. Also, I forgot we need to make sure that we pet, uh, or collect, I should say, from the woolly rhino. Because all these evolutions. One, two, three, there you go. I don't know how many books that is. Uh, two hundo, two hundo books. Um, herbivore, her this herbivore, herbivore, herbivore's mouth has sharp incisors in the front and flat molars in the back. Obviously for shearing off leaves and then grinding them into pate. Ooh. And of course, because we finished in Dominate League, we get all of that lovely, lovely super DNA, which I'm waiting. So there's another 18. So we've got to purchase 15 prize drop tickets. However, I have two days and I look at how much we've done already. Uh, because of the tournament, I did the amphibians, and now it's just the pterosaurs. So we're really close. Now, can we level you up to... Oh, we might be able to get a level 31, guys! Oh, should we do it? Oh, let's do it. One and two. Level 31! Yes, that's the big jump. Now, 6,333 health and 3,213 attack. We've almost maxed up. Oh, he's looking at him shaking his head like, yeah. And we also get a new claim rewards, which is another 200 bucks at 35 feet in length. This creature is slightly smaller than the Indominus Rex. I think, I think I talked about that last time, actually. Because that doesn't seem like news to me. And let's open up our free pack. Oh, and it's all DNA as well as a super rare. That's probably because I've got a VIP uh, mystery pack. I'm assuming, anyway. Um, so we need to collect one more mod. Uh, so we'll just, I don't know, spin for that because it's only coin. And then I think we just need to do two PVPs, I think it is. I'm not really too sure. I'm not sure. I think it's just the Cenozoic at this point. Uh, so we'll do that. So it's three different classes of aquatic. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do an aquatic battle and a Cenozoic battle. And then we'll finish with the newly boosted Omega. Heck yeah. Oh, it's so much fun. I love this. Lots to do. Right, okay, but what, what about battle events that have just clocked over? We've got the battle for survival, which is very easy, so I can do that in my spare time, really. Um, we've got the new Clash of the Titans, which I obviously didn't get the last one from. <laughs> um, yeah, I very rarely do these battle events now. Um, oh, that's tempting, though. The underwater is tempting. It's four battles, however, the first one is super easy. I think that's how they entice you in, isn't it? Uh, what's this one? Pterosaurs. Earth shot. What do we get for the Anki pack? Do we get books? Oh, it's a guarantee. Oh, we need to do that. Okay, guys, we need to do this one. Okay, so we're just going to... Oh, God, yeah, look. <laughs> My roster after the tournament. Um, We'll just put in, I don't know, you, and then we need a flyer. So you will start. Yep, that's fine. First round, kill instantly, speed it up. There you go, done. And that is one out of four battles already. <laughs> Super quick. Some free DNA. That I, I always forget about that. Two pterosaurs now. Uh, I will quickly switch to a carnivore. And I think he was like the best one I had. So now you, who can definitely kill them all in one hit, uh, will go to pterosaurs. This is actually helping us because we need to use pterosaurs for the battle. So I should have put an extra one in there. I didn't think about that. It's good. I like this with this new boss DNA because now there's like incentive for you to 
think about what you do in the game. You know, you don't just come on, check what the battles are, and then leave. No, now you need to grind. Either that, that daily battle pack or the mission pack that you get is valuable. Not only does it give you books, but it also goes towards unlocking more boss DNA. And it's all about synergy, and that works. Uh, okay, so, oh no. Um, well, seeing as I need to save my top three for the next battle, I'm gonna use those guys. So this one, not as easy. No more carnivals now. However, helping me out with the, uh, the tournament, or at least the uh, boss DNA required, so I'm just gonna go for loads of reserves right off the bat. Are you liking this now? I'm liking this. I don't know. The rest of all the game, I think it went through a phase where it was a bit boring because it was very samey. Um, but now with the um, the boss sort of stuff, um, you know, like how I'm using my speed ups for um, getting or unlocking the tournament creatures uh, really helps. And that's, I mean, it costs money to get that, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, that sucks, but uh, I mean, I've played this game for years. I don't buy packs anymore um, because there's no point for me to buy packs. The only money that I really need to spend is on books. And it's about finding the best way to do that. And for me, it's loyalty points. I have tried to do the um, Fidelity, I think it was, where you just get loads of books every day and you get to trade for books in the Trade Harbor, I think it is. But long term, as far as resources and everything else goes. VIP just gives you everything. Um, and the final one is it only three pterosaurs. Okay, so one, two, three. And we'll just go for loads of reserves. And then we've won a pack, got a hundred bucks, and done the boss DNA stuff. So this is, I think, the fourth day or third day. I think it's the fourth day of me wearing these, like, invisible braces. <laughs> I used to wear them when I was a kid. Um, then I completely destroyed that pair and then never got another one. <laughs> Cause I was like, I don't want to keep on using this. But don't get me wrong. I'm not a vain guy. The reason why I'm doing this is because it's not something that I can control myself. So let's say I wanted to lose weight or I wanted to gain muscle, something like that. Like I can do that myself. I can. I can change my diet, I can, you know, exercise more, but when it comes to teeth, like, I can't straighten my own teeth. <laughs> like, I can't legit do that. I will not whiten my teeth, though. I won't do that, because that involves, like, shaving off, uh, like, enamel. And I'm like, yep, no, I'm okay. <laughs> Look at that pack, isn't it gorgeous? I really, like, when I went to visit Ludia, I didn't even think about this, but they gave me that Thor door uh, from Dress World Alive, um, like the 3D printed model, and that looks amazing. I want to paint it, but at the same time, I don't know if it lends itself well to painting. Anyway, I was hoping I'd get a pack. I was hoping they'd be like, by the way, here's a pack. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Anyway, here we go. A oh, hundred bucks. Yes. Oh, I need that. Needed that. Right, so 650. Very good. Very good. I'll take it. And that's one towards. Oh, two now. So that's that done. So we don't need to worry about that. I did that because I needed it. Uh, so we're gonna do the boosted thing again. Uh, not We're not doing the regular, because I think the boosted is way better. The strategy I found with this, the, own, the best way I found is just to go for, um, we could nullify them. Nullifying is pretty good. Um, nullifying or intimidation. What does that do? 10% less or distraction. 15%. I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Nullify might be better because if they've got something that's randomized our stuff, which I definitely don't want to happen, I might as well go for that. And then alpha. Or maybe an alpha and an invigorate. Maybe. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that. And that, especially low level, I find is the best. So Elasmatherium is going to have, what, 500 extra health, and it's going to have 100 extra attack. Meaning that it can kill the Utah Raptor in one hit. So we nullify that. So it doesn't matter what he's got, we're good. Um, oh, they've got regenerate. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that. What does that do? Hold on. Uh, heal all hurt allied creatures by 25% of their max HP. That must be every turn. Um, but because they're such low levels, 25% is nothing. <laughs> so it's completely wasted. 
Oh, the emerald nullified anyway. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is great. And you don't get to do anything. Honestly, nullify is OP. It's so flipping good. Okay, so we went for two hits, which I think was all of his goes. So we can go for one hit and... Oh, never mind. It wasn't. I must have went second. I didn't even realize. Okay, well, we're going to kill him either way next time. I could have went all out. I could have went all out and killed him. The prizes for this aren't that bad either, I don't think. So one, two, three, and one reserve, because why not? And he went for two block. Oh, yeah, he did go for two block. Um, so it's a rare, it's about the same. Now, for every one dinosaur it kills, it gets an extra reserve. However, it's not going to kill anything, and we're going to nullify it. <laughs> that's one thing that's really good about the nullify. It just constantly works, as long as your dinosaur's active. Uh, so two hits, and because I got 500 extra health... Um, yeah, we're good. We're good. We, I think we would have survived. Um, anyway, so I might... Act, but going for an extra um, 100 attack wouldn't have made a difference here. We got him. And there you go. That's how you guarantee to win these every time. Because they cost five bucks to enter. And you don't want to lose five bucks. So, you might get something on the prize wheel. Ooh, what do we get? You get 20, 20 VIP points, which turns into 40, I think. For five bucks, you know, it's it's not a good trade, but it's better than losing everything. So you want to do the same with the next one. Now, I find Dacosaur is the best one to put out first. Um, doesn't really make too much of a difference. So we're going to go for Nullify again, because we've got 99 of those. I don't know how I check how many I've got, but uh, yeah, I got a lot. So Anka Pristis has a lot of health, right? So it doesn't really matter... If, if, worst case scenario, Dacosaur dies, we, we don't want Uncle Pristis with more health. So we want to put the Invigorate and then the Alpha on the next one. Remember, if Uncle Pristis is out, his mod does not take effect because it's an Alpha, meaning that it doesn't affect itself but the rest of the team. But Liptoclidus will still be active. So uh, Uncle Pristis already has loads of health, but it will have an extra 100 attack. So we've got a bleed here. That's the toxin. Now toxin is very OP because uh, I think it does a, a set amount of damage. But there you go. Completely nullified. I think that might have killed me if I don't go first. I think. Doesn't matter. We kill him anyway. Does he get to go first? He doesn't. So let's have a look. Deal 50% of attack stat to enemy team at end of owner's turn. So basically, um, if, I mean, really, that would be great for me. Because if I just went for Toxin and then went for two Invigorates, gave it 200 extra attack, um, because it's my go now, the rest of the team would be hit with, what, like, 100 damage? Which in some cases is an instant kill. Um, but we don't need to worry about that. Um, and I don't need to worry about this thing either. However, I will reserve here because it has a lot of health and I don't want to die. It might kill me here. It might if it went for four, but it doesn't. Uh, so one, two, doesn't kill it. I didn't think it would. I'm going to go factor in two extra, which is a bit of a shame because it, it's just alive. Um, it's closer. This one's a closer game. I think he might try and kill me here. Yeah, he's going to have to go for five, though, or four. I think four might kill me. Five has definitely killed me. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. Not too bad. Now, let's see if this tactic worked. If this tactic worked. <laughs> right, so now the destruction actually does work onto it. But it doesn't really make a difference to us because we can go for one attack and then four reserves. And we pretty much won. Actually, even if it was the other way around, it would have wouldn't have made a difference because um, it might make the difference of whether I die here. But as far as the attack goes, he only had 11 health anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I would have survived if I put the mods the other way around. However, it doesn't really make too much of a difference because we've got eight. Uh, we kill him in like five. One, two, three, four. Well, four we kill him in. And it only had one block. But it does have tough skin. I do. I don't remember what tough skin does. Uh, but I'm hoping it kills him. Come on, please. Okay, good. I think maybe it negates one attack. I think possibly. Yeah. Or it halves it. 
Either way, it died. So there we go, another spin on the spin wheel. Hoping we get some books, that'd be very good. Um, or some food, you know, rubbish. <laughs> but that means that we have claimed 55 books anyway for doing those battles. And we get this, which means we claim another guaranteed 55 bucks. So it's 110. And we've opened another pack, which gives us another 260 VIP points. And my God. Whoa. So we did, of course, we've done that. So that's 20 of that. Um, we are now... Only like one day away from unlocking all of these, which isn't too bad. But the moment you've all been waiting for, will we eventually complete a Blumen event? Uh, is the question. Now we've got this one, defeat 19, uh, any creature level 30 plus. We've never done this one before. This is ominous engagement because finally we have Omega at level 31. It's 20 bucks to enter. Is it any good? Let's have a look. <laughs> um, I might as well just go for an attack on it, right? Ah, so we got 12 things to go through. This looks tough. Even though it said level 31 plus, I get the feeling that um, level 31 is probably the, the lowest that you kind of need. I'm going to have to kill it. I'm going to have to try to. I do, because that 600 attack gets turned down into something pitiful. Um, 258. So, yeah, it's halved. Which isn't too bad. Uh, but then we got another microbasaurus afterwards. Okay, so it's not 20 enemies. But we do have like 6,000 health now. The jump in a level for Mort Morton Rex. Uh, Omega 09. <laughs> Freud didn't slip there. Um, Omega 09 is loads when you level it up. So there's another two. Oh, I'll take it. On me chinny chin chin. Uh, it might have one block. So I'm going to go for that. Yeah, thought so. Okay, it, it probably could have had two, <laughs> but I wouldn't. I wouldn't been too fast. Okay, so here we go. Seven hundred attack. Oh no! Go on then. If it hits me, it's gonna do like two thousand damage. <laughs> I need to kill it. I need to. I still kill in one hit, so I'm gonna factor in two, and then I'm gonna go for that. Hopefully, it does go for two block. It does. Beautiful. Bam. So seven hundred attack gets turned into. Oh, 700 still! I forget to like this is really flippin' good! Oh, this isn't good, guys. This is not good. Um, goes for three. Oh, okay, not bad. I don't know. I don't know if we can do this, guys. What's that? Is that a Cantho Stager? It is. And it'll have loads of attack. Okay, okay, I'm gonna save up here. I'm gonna save up. I need to. Please hit me for five. I will love if you hit me for five. Or three. Three is really good. It means it goes for loads of uh, loads of attack and stuff. But it doesn't do any damage. Okay. So I'm going to go for three block here. And then four reserve. Can we win one? Is it possible? Come on. Go for four. Please. No. Don't do nothing. Okay. So now I can go for four block now. Which is a lot. That's a lot. So four, and he's got, he could get two through. He could get two through if it goes for an all out attack, which it doesn't, but it's still, ah, ah, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna keep on blocking and reserving. I have to, I have to. I didn't even realize that Morden Rex had loads of spikes on the back of his, um, what do you call that? Shin, or whatever you want. What is that? What's that muscle called? Oh, calf muscle. That's the one. Surely that's going to hurt every step he takes, especially when he's crouched. Go on, five. Go for five, please. Please go for five. No. Why are you doing this to me? I know why. You just want me to lose. Okay, he's got six. He's got six. Now please attack. Please attack. Attack for six. Oh... It's on a cycle, man. It's on a cycle. Okay, I've got to factor in two. I've got to factor in two here. So one, one, two, one, two, three, and then one, two. He might not go for... Oh, I was... Oh, this again. The 161 weeks. Brilliant. Hey, and one more. I think you need to pop... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, finally a herbivore. But that herbivore has a lot of attack. Um, oh, it goes for two. Oh, brilliant. Okay. 
So what's Dina Cheris's attack though? It's a level 40. Okay. One kills it, factor in two, and then I've got to, I've got to. Yep, there we go. Went for all out. That's great. Dina Cheris, please, or Dina Cheris. Please attack me for four. Please do. <laughs> oh, don't attack me for five. I mean, I like it, but don't. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. One, two, and then three reserves. Oh, good, 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 good. Just trying to get back my reserves. Trying to do it. You can hit me for four, which is a lot of damage. Oh, he goes for it. Oh, wait, he's got two block. He's got two block. Um, so I have to go for three. And I'm going to do that. I think that's the best. Yep, there we go. So I can only be hit by two from Baryonyx. And we're onto the bronze. Yeah. Right, it's three again. Three again. Oh, a Draco Rex. Yes. Oh, there it is. Ooh, 600 attack. Okay, I think he only had one block. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. Come on, come on, we got this. Yeah, and he went for it as well. Oh, here we go, here we go. Stepping on the accelerator. And, oh no, it's a po it's a Presta Suchus. Are you kidding me? Oh, Draco Rex. Thank you. I need all the reserves I can get for fighting you. Please stay in here. I don't want to kill you just yet. One, two, and then one, two, three, four. Gonna risk it. Go risking it all. I think it worked. Okay. Half health, half health, guys. We've come this far. Apologize. Got a little bit of a phone call there. <laughs> I'm excited. We've only got four creatures left. One of those four is a Presto though. So I'm a bit worried about that. Um, oh, he's only got two block though. Do we risk it now? Do we risk it now? He's gonna have 1,200 attack. And one kills him. Factor in two. One, two, three, and then two. Please block. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> three left! Three left! What's after him? Oh, it's a Triceratops Gen 2! Yes! Come on! Oh, the Trigger's rubbish! Um, oh, he didn't attack. He didn't attack though. He could have four block. Um, I don't kill him in one hit. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. I think that's the best thing I can, no! No, that's the worst. Oh God, he's gonna hit me with two at least. Oh, he's gonna, I'm dead, I'm dead. There it is, there it is. That was close. That was so close. No, I made it so far. <laughs> Mortar, no. Well, Peril League. Are the prizes any better though? <gasps> Probably not. Oh, 200 bucks for 20, sorry, 200 VIP points for 20 bucks. Uh, other way around, I would do it. This way, nah. Well guys, there you have it. We did actually do the ominous engagement, which is actually the same title as the other one. Ah, okay, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but there you have it. We maxed up the Woolly Rhino. Uh, we'll have a look where it lies in the roster, actually. That's probably something I should have done to start with. Uh, we'll go into PvP, go into Glacier. Whereabouts is it in Cenozoic? Okay, so already not in the top lineup, but very close. Very close. Um, yeah. It's, a, it's on par with like a a level 20 to 30 VIP, which is mainly what you get from a tournament creature anyway. But, uh, put him in! We're on to elite boosted prizes! Meaning that you have a good chance of winning... Wait, what? What's the difference? What's the difference? 8% for VIP, for Super DNA. What the hell? There's probably like, they're probably different, um, different levels, right? They've gotta be. They've got to be. They're different, like, like, different amounts of food and coin, right? Because they're, they're basically the same. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, we're going to end it there. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.